So, solid aluminum BMX cranks for freestyle racing or whatever else you might want to use them for. How are they? Well, in this video, I'm going to tell you my thoughts on the RNC solid aluminum BMX cranks after riding them for a couple months in use for freestyle BMX. So let's start with the first thing that I know everyone is going to want to know. What are the problems with these cranks? And I've sat here and thought about it for a little while and I came up with one and a half things that could potentially be a problem with these cranks based on my personal experience. The first of those is pretty simple. You know, putting these on, having the threads in them be aluminum with no inserts or anything like that, I was a little bit worried about developing some sort of wobble within the threads of the pedals or just wallowing out the threads in general and making it so the cranks were no good anymore. And I'm happy to report that I have not had those issues at all yet. The only thing that I could potentially perceive as a problem is that I've had to tighten my pedals, you know, at least once a session. And that's something that honestly has happened for a while now for me. So I don't chalk it up to the cranks. I just say sometimes these pedals have to get retightened. And as long as I make sure that they're tight while I'm riding, I don't think I'll have to worry about any type of pedal wobble or wallowing out and ruining of these threads. It was a definite worry and I'm really stoked to say that I haven't had those issues whatsoever. So that was my half, because I mean, I haven't had it as a problem. I've just had to make sure that my cranks were tight. So what is the one? I would say the one thing that you could perceive as a problem with these cranks is the fact that everything to do with them is proprietary. These cranks use a 24 millimeter 80 spline spindle and there is no sprocket bolt on these cranks either, which means you have to use spline drive and because these are a 80 spline spindle, it means that you have to use the adapter with these cranks or a sprocket from RNC BMX, which I don't know how many people will perceive that as a problem. It means you won't be able to just go to any bike shop and buy a sprocket and bolt it on there. It means you'll have to use the sprocket adapter that he has or one of his sprockets and the adapter that he has fits the profile sprocket size. So as you can see here, I have a really old Madeira Signet sprocket on here and I mean, you could perceive it as a problem for it being proprietary, but I think it's just kind of part of the experience of buying this, you know, small batch, one person USA made crank set. And then the other proprietary thing with this is that it does have a proprietary 24 millimeter bottom bracket. And the reason that you have to do that is because it is not the exact same size as what BMX calls 24 millimeter. So basically when you buy these cranks, you have to buy the bottom bracket and kit, and then you have to buy some sort of adapter or sprocket to go with them. And on the subject of things being proprietary, this is a perfect time to take a look at RNC's website because there's something on here that I actually wasn't aware of. So first of all, the price for these cranks that I haven't mentioned up to this point is $350. There are about a million different length options for them from 185 to 140 and everything in between. You can even get 172.5. The spindle length options, there are two of them, 5.625 inches and six inches. From my experience, six is what I've needed for every build that I've done with these cranks. So I would guess a lot of freestyle BMX frames would be the same, but that is definitely something to double check on before you order them. So let's just go ahead, 170, 6.0, color, black, sprocket and bottom bracket are also on here. So you can see that you can get 25 to 28 to 30 tooth, the 104 millimeter spider or 25 tooth bash or a 28 tooth bash. And when you click on it, it doesn't up the price. Bottom bracket is also on here. So we'll choose mid bottom bracket. And when this loads here, you can see the price hasn't increased because on the site it says limited time offer 
comes with free bottom bracket and spline drive sprocket of choice. That is huge for the same price. So you can't really have the argument of things being proprietary being a problem when it doesn't cost you any more to get the proprietary pieces that you need for your cranks. It makes it a option for, you know, style and choice. Maybe you don't want that sprocket. Bottom bracket, I don't think really matters that much, but maybe you don't want that sprocket. Okay, I get it, but it's the same price. You pay $350 and get pretty much everything you could need to put these cranks on. I do want to stipulate here that I don't know for sure whether or not the included bottom bracket comes with the spacers. I would double check on that as well, and I will ask before this video comes up, so you've already seen on the screen if it does or not. But either way, my argument for things being proprietary currently is void. After this limited time thing goes away, all right, I get it. But for right now, cool. And if you want to save 10% on that, stay tuned to the end of the video for a discount and a way you can help me at the same time. If you forced me to reach for anything else, it's that maybe this bolt isn't a conventional BMX size, but it's one of those things where it's like you get a 12 millimeter Allen or you just use the bolt adapter that comes with the cranks. It gives you the tool, so you can't really complain about not having one. And you could just get another 12 millimeter if you wanna use both sides or anything like that. So once again, negligible problem, a non-problem. So with those, I guess you say problems already talked about, let's talk about the installation of these cranks. It was honestly much smoother and easier than the previous titanium cranks that were two piece because one side was fixed on those, meaning that when you figured out your spacing, that is your spacers that go between your sprocket and your bottom bracket or between your sprocket and your crank or on the other side, when you're figuring that out, especially on the side that's you know fixed, you have to take the whole entire thing on and off, on and off, on and off until you get it right or you figure it out once and then when you're taking it on off, you know, it's just kind of, it was a pain to do that. But these being three piece means that you just figure all that out as you go. You get the spindle in there and then you can put the crank arms on, take them off as needed just to figure out your spacing. So I didn't feel like that was really any kind of problem. And so as I mentioned earlier, I honestly feel like these cranks were much, much easier to install than the previous solid titanium two-piece version of RNC's cranks. Being that these are 24 millimeter, they have 80 splines, I don't know. Things just went together much easier. So let's keep talking about that 24 millimeter 80 splines. These cranks come in at 20 ounces. The previous cranks also came in at 20 ounces. Those were 22 millimeters. These are 24 millimeters. That means that if you compare them, these ones are much beefier, they've got more material, and the spindle is much bigger. I feel like this adds to a look to it, and it's something that I had to adjust to for sure. I didn't know if I liked it at first, but now it's just, you know, it just is the way that it is. And the black version of these cranks is so badass. I seriously love the way that that version of these cranks looks. In terms of strength and how they feel while riding to move on to actual use of these cranks, I didn't notice much of a difference in feel. I don't know if that's because I'm the kind of person that doesn't really hone in on differences in like flex or how a crank feels whenever you're riding the bike. I just know that I put these cranks on and I didn't really notice a difference. I think it's interesting and awesome that they are the same weight as the previous version, but are beefier and gnarlier. I think that's definitely a good thing. And when I was riding these, the only thing I could say is that 
because I'm such a psycho about keeping things as nice as I can for as long as I can, there are certain tricks that I just kind of wouldn't do because I didn't want to scratch things up. You know, like a, a 180 sprocket 180 on a double coping spine where you land on the crank arm really heavily. Things like that, I would just avoid and I probably will avoid until, you know, things get scratched up to a point where it's like, well, there's no going back now. Let's just not care anymore. That has nothing to do with the cranks themselves and everything to do with me being crazy about trying to keep everything look and be as nice as possible for as long as possible. In terms of everything else to do with the cranks, I feel like I just you know, like how you would with any other crank set, just check to make sure the bolts were tight every now and then, made sure my pedals were tight, and I've had no issues. Other than a pedal coming loose now and then, that is it. There's been nothing to report in terms of durability or feeling like anything was inferior or in any kind of way. I've ridden these cranks for months now and I feel like if there was something that was going to come up, you know, I've mentioned before in videos about the titanium ones that they could develop a wobble. These have had no wobble whatsoever. I think that has something to do with the 80 splines in the spindle and 80 splines on the cranks and probably something to do with his new process of how he actually cuts these splines. I wasn't sure about the aluminum look when I first put them on compared to the titanium because the titanium just looks badass. But I did end up liking how the aluminum looks with all of the other aluminum pieces. My, my stem you can't see here and my front hub, my back hub being polished aluminum. It kind of just brings everything together. And something super exciting that I literally just found out actually happened is that there is now a discount code available for 10% off anything you buy from RNC BMX's website when you use the code Brent. It's on the screen right now. And when you use that code, you save 10% and you help me out at the same time. So if you were interested in buying these cranks or the new ones that are out, go ahead and use that code. Save a little bit and you help me out. So on that note, let's bring it all together here. You already heard the problems with these cranks. You've heard my rave about installing them and how much easier it felt. You've heard what I've had to say about how they feel, how they look, everything to do with that. I feel like at this point, I can genuinely recommend anybody to buy these cranks. Just know that if you do buy them, you're gonna have to get the bottom bracket and kit and you're going to want to get that adapter unless you go with an RNC sprocket. So with all of that, I just have had nothing but positive experience with these cranks. And I would love to hear anyone else who has ridden these cranks thoughts in the comments down below. And if anybody decides to buy these because of this video, also let me know in the comments. And hopefully you enjoyed this one enough that if you're new here or you haven't yet, you'll hit the subscribe button while you're down there. Thank you for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.